Hi, David. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. How are you? I write to you. I am a, a little sick teacher. I have oh, you are. With, uh, with my group. I am in bed now. I for the reason I we... okay, okay, no worries. Thank you. I haven't seen them. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Hello, Jose, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, thanks. What are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Is it raining in your, in your house? No, it, it rained maybe. It stopped now, but it, it did rain. Oh, okay. It did rain, yeah. All right, what about you? Is it raining over there? Yes, I love Okay. When the rain stopped in September or October? I think in October because sometimes it's still November and it's raining. Yeah, I, I don't remember when, but I think it's October two. But but you know it should be raining more. In October? No, now like it should be raining every day. And yes, yes. But um, there's a tropical. There's a problem. I don't know why it's not raining. So anyways, but it's okay. We need rain. I like rain. Yeah, it's better, but the traffic is more complicated. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. All right. But man, but it's good that it rains because it was very, very hot. Yeah. Okay, who else is connected? David, someone is sick, he told me, so he really can't speak right now. Claudia will not be. Okay. I don't know if Jose or Rodrigo or Diego are on.
Hold on, say yes. I need to know who else is going to participate today. No problem. Thank you. Once again, it's Diego, Mr. Jovito. Who is connected? I know that Claudia and David can't. Is somebody going to participate today besides Isaiah's class? Here I am. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Dennis. The reason why I'm asking is like the fourth or fifth time I'm asking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have many people connected and nobody is answering, so that's kind of difficult. Okay, so I'm going sure. to... Well, yeah, and Wilfredo, thank you for being online. Okay, but you know, sometimes we do get a, we do get problems. You know, like people saying, "I don't learn anything. Uh, I I don't like this, uh, this and that." And you know, so what happens is that um, Insaforb starts watching the class and says, "Hey, but you never online. You never participate. I mean, you are connected, yes, but you never participate." You never show your face. You never say anything. So how can you ask, you know? I mean, this is TOEFL. This is the highest you can get. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to leave people who are connected, who are on video. All right. What's up, Jose? How are you? So far, so good. A busy day, but you know, every day with that is busy, maybe has a, a, a new experience to learn. In, in workforce? Yep, for workforce. Because uh, as I told you before, uh, we're working with a new LOB. So mm -hmm. for that, we need to set up a lot of things. We need to set the schedule. We need to check the the head counts <clears throat> and a, a lot of things, a lot of things. I imagine. To be honest. Uh -huh. So in that case, maybe uh, you need to check the, the trinkage. So the trinkage is uh, similar to or Maybe I can explain something like that. When you have maybe 10 people, 10 people in one training, but one of them uh, gave us a, a resignation letter. So we need to be prepared for that because we maybe have a different forecast because the client give you uh, a number of forecasts. Uh, of course that you will receive and, mm -hmm. and for that you need to to calculate the 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 agents that need to be logged in in different interval so in that case uh, you need to uh, calculate and be 
exact because if you make a mistake that 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 will be expensive for the company oh yeah so that's that's the reason they this way is but we have a, a lot of workload um man and google is coming to el salvador huh yeah google is coming to el salvador do you know where where the where where it's gonna be in, in what part no. no no i don't know but i will try to 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 update my resume yeah to apply yeah yeah i think well you know people who have worked a long time in call centers especially and in, in every operation site in operations and workforce staff they have a very good opportunity right there that's right that's right i completely agree with that i can't believe how people are talking bad about that mm -hmm. you know i don't care what government it is it could be a good but it's a very good opportunity that's coming to the country. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this politician is saying that um, they should invest in 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 what in that space, the land. They should invest that in a uh, green in something green for the environment, or I don't know. <laughs> it's it's funny to hear. Sometimes when you want to have a stomach ache, read politics. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And you will forget quickly your stomach. Yes, it's it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. But um yeah, but uh, you know that that's very good. I'm very happy about that opportunity and um and many people from from you know um in California my family lives in California uh -huh. and they they lived there since the 70s and the 80s. They lived in San Jose, California. When Google moved there to Sunny, Sunny Valley, everything in San Jose and the surroundings started increasing so that's when people started selling their house for maybe two times more than what they bought it because while well, now people work in google and there are no more houses or 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 rent in in san jose so many people live like in san francisco which is an hour away in bus and they they do it because it's it's incredible how one company can bring so much income to a city. So can you imagine what it's going to do to El Salvador? Yeah, that's right. And I think that it will be uh, a monopolize many uh, many employees mm -hmm. and leave many opportunities in others as well. Yeah, because I mean. If it works, because, okay, this is what happened, the effect in Google. After Google, I think YouTube went there, too. Uh -huh. YouTube and, yeah. and, and all the, all, you know, all companies related to Google. Uh -huh. So it's going to be good. Yeah. So I, I have many friends mm -hmm. working with Google in Telus. You know, it was a sad story because... When I worked in Google, in Talis, but I worked for, for the Google account, I was there for five years. And what we did is that um, I work with the domains. Uh -huh. So I had to call companies that their contract was about to expire. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was so cool because I had all the access to the Google information. Like, for example, I would have to call any company, like... I don't know, let's say, let's say, um, whatever kind of McDonald's.com, right? Uh -huh. The way, do you know how Google makes their money? Yeah, I know. They rent the, the domains. Yes. You know, like, for uh -huh. example, imagine I am McDonald's 
And I said, hey, Google, I want an account for my <clears throat> for my company. Oh, sure. How many employees? 500 or 500,000 doesn't matter, you know, but let's say, let's say 100,000. Okay, great. I want every employee of mine to have a Google domain. So like uh, David at McDonald's.com. And then Google says, okay, out of this 500,000, 100, there are privileges. Privileges is access to certain things, you know, and you know, so at the end, they give you like 10 people that Google calls and negotiates with those people. When there, whenever there's a problem with a domain, so Google asks for all that information. Okay, okay uh, just in case for any emergency, whatever, who I need you to give me at least 10 people who we can contact as decision makers. Oh, okay, great. <clears throat> so I had to call that those decision makers. The, the funny part was that um, sometimes I had to call porn sites. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there were clients. <laughs> and um, before you call, you have to make sure it's the right site you're calling. Oh. Because, you know, there could be a McDonald's.com or a McDonald's with two S.com. You know, so they always tell us, hey, before, do a very quick check that everything matches, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, it was funny because sometimes when I had to call a porn page, I had to go in the page. <laughs> but that is an important double check when it's, you're exactly. doing something. Of course, yes. Yeah, but he was yeah. this important page. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and it, was, and it was funny. And you've been in Talos, you know, like everything is glass. Exactly. Uh -huh. So uh, everybody in Talos, they hated us because we had access to everything, you know, YouTube, Netflix, whatever. And, you know, why do the people in Talos, in Google, they always watch Netflix and we can't. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> it, it's funny, we, there was like a an internal internal um, portal that we used. It says, hey, I saw one boy, uh, I saw this girl, she was looking at porn in the in, in google in in yeah in google <laughs> uh -huh. but it was we laugh because we know why she was looking at the porn site <laughs> she had to of course we don't navigate but you know we just have to <laughs> i remember i had to call she something. was checking the the domain yeah <laughs> you know you know sometimes we had to call like crazy dolls that, you know some chinese people have some very sick things but you know of course we don't navigate i mean it's ethical you know but we just check the domain but it may be in that moment they're passing by you know other people hey, hey they're looking at porn <laughs> <laughs> but you know so one day i had to i called some famous people you know it's because we had access mimetia uh, like for example i would put any domain like and i remember i put um like Siman.com, I put a lot of companies in El Salvador and we had the access like Javier Siman, his phone number and, and everything. One time I had to call um, WWE, the wrestling. Oh, really? And I was, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know, when you check, it says like Vince McMahon, CEO, and it had his telephone number and his email. Mm. Well, so what I was telling you is that um, you could say if you want to pay less, just give me some ticket. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to negotiate? But you know, Microsoft is a very <laughs> big competition right now for Google. Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft is other big company. But do you know why Google is never going to lose? They're very smart. They're giving a, a notebook to every student in the United States. Like a like like what they did in El Salvador. Remember they sent a, a the government is giving a notebook mm -hmm. to all the students. So Google gave I remember the president he said that that Google donated 
programs. And that's true. Those programs are expensive. The programs are, are installed in the computer for Google education. But the, the reason why they want to do that is because they want to start teaching kids now to use Google programs. So that way, when these kids go work in an office, you know, when these kids graduate college and they go work in an office, all they know is how to use Google. So very smart. Mm -hmm. So what we did is that we had to call those people, you know, hi, my name is David. I'm calling from Google. And may I speak with Vince McMahon? <laughs> and um, hi, Vince. Look, uh, your account is about to expire in three months. Can we... So I had to set a meeting to renew the contract. And then Google contacted us and five of us, we were going to go to Google in California. We were going to go for six months to live there. Okay, Can you imagine that, you know, they had yeah. our plans with six months to live there and, um, I was very happy because they did that to other people. You know, that's a sick kid. I don't in, in working there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was happy I was going to go. But then guess what? COVID. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> then COVID and all the plants closed. So, yeah. Well, but I know how, how you know, they sent us videos, you know, like, because they told us everything. Look, you will, we'll pay you everything. You will stay at a hotel. You can stay in the building and the Google. You will have access as a Google employee. And we were just watching videos of how cool it is to work in Google. I was happy. You asked that, yeah, I had everything <laughs> set and it's stupid COVID. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that it was a really good experience for Google. Yeah, you know, I that's two times that has happened to me. Because oh, really? the first time when I was in Dell, I was going to go to India for two months, I think. Because they opened. I, yeah, I wasn't very happy about India, but it was traveling. But um, and then that's when Dell closed in El Salvador. Yeah. But Dell, they actually gave me a letter, and I remember I had to go to the embassy to ask for all the permissions. <laughs> I, I was doing all the paperwork. I said, yeah, okay, in two months we go, and boom, and then nothing. The <laughs> only thing that I achieved with Dell, it was that they paid for my first visa, American visa, because I was uh, working in the Latin thing, so oh, okay. we had, no, we had all these... Um, I I don't remember this. Uh, the, I remember that they, the the policies do not sell any computer at the store. I don't know today how they do. Mm -hmm. All everything was uh, sold online. Custom, so uh -huh. we, uh, so we have these uh, like ferias in different countries for uh -huh. people can touch in the. So I want the opportunity to go to Puerto Rico, but. Uh, there was no uh, direct flight and there is no direct flight to Puerto Rico. So I must to, to make la, the process for my, my visa. And they pay for all the process, but the thing is that at that time, it was so like a different process and they left my date for mm -hmm. exactly the same day they were leaving to the United wow. States. So, uh, I continue with the process. They pay for all of that. And the first time I get my visa, uh, a black woman, a very angry woman <laughs> made the interview with me. And when she was asking me for anything, she was asking my answer was no, 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 I don't have yet. No, 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 no. And she, I don't know what she thought. Maybe she thought that I was going to maybe get married and look for a gringo right there. <laughs> <laughs> So she stand up for, for her uh, for her shirt. And so so she asked me, what are you going to do to my country if I give you the visa? And I told her, I'm going to to enjoy my vacations. Uh, so I'm going to pay for my for my ticket. So here is my salary letter. What do you need? 
And I was so rude with her, believe me. I was Man, so rude. she asked you that? What are you going to do in my country? Exactly, but right. in Spanish, in, in Span ¿y qué vas a ir a hacer a mi país si te doy la visa? Se paró de su silla. No, me enojó. Uh -uh. Me enojó. Yeah. <laughs> y le tiré mi carta de salario. And I was almost, I was rude with her. And so she, she say any other three things. And okay, give me your passport, say. And this will be delivered to you in, in a week. Okay, bye-bye. That's all. And they gave me the visa for, the, my first visa for 10 years. You know what? <laughs> oh, you, know, you know what? I never went, to, I have never been in U.S. And this is my second visa. And so I must go. It's not my... It's not my dream. It's not my pleasure to. But do you it. should. I mean, you should. Go. If you have family, you should go. No. Yeah, my family is there, but I don't want to go to US. I just no, can't imagine. You know, you know, sometimes it's very cheap to go. Sometimes there. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for that opportunity. Yeah, I, this need this next year, I must go. You know, for they see one time base. Mm. The second time I went to my appointment to my date uh, appointment. I'm sorry to my appointment. Uh, the man asked me because I sent it to through mm -hmm. through me but the man asked me why i didn't have the opportunity to go the first time and i said no because uh we were like uh we i didn't talk to my family we were mad uh, i invented story he believed <laughs> and he gave me my second visa for 10 years <laughs> oh good hey have you have you ever seen la Tenchis when she asked for the visa no, that's no. so funny. You should see that. <laughs> really? I yeah. It's I don't know. Somebody passed me that video, but it was a long time ago. Then, La Denchis, uh, what's her husband's name? Anacleto. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, they're going to ask it for a visa in the embassy, and La Denchis tells her husband, "Look, it's a pattern. You have to say three yes, one no, three yes, two no's, three yes." <laughs> And Anacleto said, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, then, so when they go in, you know, like, <laughs> the, the uh, hi, hi, Liz. Are you a homosexual? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a thief? Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you have good intentions in, in my country? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You, you should watch that. This I haven't movie. seen that. I'm going to look for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, funny. <laughs> All right. But anyways, I, I'm very happy that, that Google is coming. It's a great opportunity yeah, for... Let's see what's going on in the future, in the coming future. Yeah, because, I mean, maybe more companies will come. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, in the in the, in the the company where I work, there's a lot of people from Latin America, and they always ask me, hey, do you know if they, if they are hiring already? Mm -hmm. You know, like, like uh, I have friends from Argentina, and they already want to come and live here to work in Google. You know, remember said, that they here they are in dollars. They don't mm -hmm. need to go through all the the adventure to yeah. go to US. Yes, they, and they're always they're asking the me. Yeah. They're asking me, "Are they hiring already? Please let me know. Please <laughs> let me know." I said, "Yeah, okay. I will because I will, <laughs> I will mm -hmm. apply too." <laughs> Yeah, we don't know how many how many applicants they will be opening. We don't know. It would be a surprise. Just imagine maybe they will start uh, with uh, people remotely in the U.S. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But it's a, it's a, it's a beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a beginning. It's a good opportunity, digital opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Class, we have practiced about reading, about speaking, and now we're going to do the writing part, which I think is the most difficult. I mean, if you thought reading and, and speaking was difficult, <laughs> writing writing is, is difficult too. But what is one thing that you have noticed about TOEFL? Mm. I think it's very specific. You think it's what? It's straight and, and mm -hmm. specific asking things or requesting them. Mm -hmm. All the requests are clear, yes. but 
we must take care to uh, put in attention in the pay attention in the letters. I'm paying attention. Yes, and one pay thing: you. take the questions literally. Remember that literalmente. Take the 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 questions. Everything you read literally. Okay. What is literally? Tell me about yourself. Oh, I am married. I have one son. I have three pets because I love dogs. I think they're the most beautiful. I I am estoy saliendo. They tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people do that. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm married. I have two dogs because I think dogs are the best companions a person can have. Now you're not talking about yourself. You're talking about a dog. So stick to the point. Stick, stay on the subject, okay? So let's listen to this audio. We'll now go over the last section of. Can you hear? Mm -hmm. Yes. In course one, the writing section. Here we'll study challenges of writing about the writing section, a type of question, writing practice. To overcome the challenge of writing, you need to practice writing essays, organizing your ideas, and increasing your skills in using sentence structures and vocabulary. The writing section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to write standard academic English. There are two tasks of writing on the TOEFL test one integrated and one independent. So two tasks, one integrated, one independent. Let's pay attention on that. Oops. I'll test one integrated and one independent. We will now go over the last section of the TOEFL Preparation Course 1, the writing section, Integrated Writing. Question 1, Integrated Writing, read, listen, explain. Okay, so remember it said there's two types of writing, integrated and? Inde and independent. So this is the integrated writing. Question 1, you have to read, listen, and explain. For the integrated writing, you will read and listen to a lecture. The reading and the lecture will be on academic subject in one of the following areas. Life science, any of several branches of science, such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology, that deal with living organisms and their organizations, life processes and relationships to each other and their environment. Social science, the study of human society and of individual relationships in and to society including sociology, psychology, anthropology, economics, political science, and history. Physical science, any of the sciences such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, and geology that analyze the nature and properties of energy and non-living matter. Humanities, branches of knowledge that investigate human beings, their culture, and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, the arts, history, and philosophy. So remember, she said that it's going to be based the writing in academic standards. Okay, so then these are some possible topics, life science, social science, physical science, and humanities.
To begin with, your focus should be on summarizing the main points of the lecture. Do not take notes in full sentence form. Use points. Expect a structure. The main point will come first, followed by explanations, examples, and reasons. Put things in your own words. Avoid the trap of copying down exact phrases. Make sure you have covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention specific details in your answer. Your next task is to show how the lecture challenges how. Do okay, um, here it says, look, do not take notes in full sentences forms. Use points. Now, this is optional because everybody has a different way of taking notes. One way I use of taking notes, because I worked for one year as a translator, as an interpreter. And one thing, when you take notes, only you will understand yourself. Hmm. And I remember I took my notes, not from left to right. I took them up and down. Sometimes I didn't even write the word. I made a little drawing. You know, but that's what I'm saying. Everybody has a different way of, of taking notes. But in this case, is don't take the full sentence. Don't. Don't say this story, uh, this text is about the human life in the world, blah, 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 blah. So you can say human life, world, and, and maybe draw a world. Take short, simple notes. Okay. The main point should be the first one, the first followed by explanations. So, for example, imagine you read about world science. So I am not going to put this, this reading is about the world science. No, I maybe I, I draw a world and I put science as my first, as my first, the first note that I write is world science. So I will know that is the main point. And after that, give the explanations, give the reasons, the five W's. Do you know the five W's? What, when, where, why, who? Okay. Make sure you've covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention specific details in your answer. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention a specific details in your answer. Your next task is to show how the lecture challenges or supports the reading. Begin by typing out an outline so your essay has a clear, coherent structure. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. Here are some key phrases you can use in your essay. Challenges the reading. Contest, dispute, query, question, doubt, mistrust, object, object to, protest, oppose, resist, defy, face. Supports the reading. Advocate, back, champion, confirm, bear out, Corroborate, substantiate, validate, verify, vindicate, help, boost, support. Use verbs to indicate that you are summarizing. Suggest, say, report, tell, argue, question, ask, conclude. Next, it says, read the following passage. Next, you'll listen to an audio clip of the professor 
giving a lecture on the same topic as that of the passage. Finally, you'll have 20 minutes to plan and compose a short essay of about 150 to 225 words. This essay must summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support or challenge what's written in the passage. You will not write about your own opinion for this task. At the end, you will send an essay to your teacher so he, she checks the grades and your essay. We're not going to do that because we only have an hour class <laughs> and we can do one together. Let's do the reading first. Okay, so integrated writing task questions. Can you guys see this very well? Yes. Let's see it. That's no, but... no, no. Okay, so um, we only have three people. So let's start with, hold on, how many paragraphs are there? One, one. Okay, so Mr. Jose, can you read Until Abilities? Okay, sure. <clears throat> okay. It says, investigation met, made at laboratories in the various parts of the word indicate that APs are capable of understanding languages and using linguistic responses at the level of young children. Just because these animals do not have a physical apparatus for producing uh, the chip, we should not assume that they cannot understand and learn language. According to the research who have worked closely with EPS, when these animals are given are given other means to communicate, they do indeed show sophisticated communicated abilities. Abilities. Yeah, to be honest, they the apes are really smart. Yeah. Okay, one thing is apes. Apes. Yeah, the oh. E is silent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, the apes and another word, apparatus. The apes, apparatus. Mm -hmm. The apparatus is el aparato. Mm -hmm. Okay, but very good. I understood everything. Everything was well. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, that when Sanchez Seren was offered to go to the moon with the apes? <laughs> yes, NASA invited him and they told him that you are the best qualified president to go to the moon. And he was very happy, you know, like. Uh, really? Because maybe the NASA sent apes to the moon. Yeah, they were <laughs> going to send some apes on, to the moon and, and they wanted to send a human and they chose Sanchez Seren. So he actually went, you know, he put that in every newspaper that I am the only Latin American president that went to the moon. So like a week later, the NASA communicates, you know, ape number one, send me information about the moon. And you see the ape typing, you know, ape number two, tell me the weather. And then the ape sending the information. And then you see Sanchez Seren and you see him very angry. Yes, I know. It's time for the apes to eat. <laughs> <laughs> A big useless. <laughs> yes. So they said. <laughs> That's why they sent him. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Does anybody have any questions on the reading? Mm. 
No, I take it as no. Okay, Isaias, can you do the next part and finish in many sounds, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, this research provides evidence of gorillas using signs to show humor, to insult, to triacing, to produce metaphorical language, and to engage in, in fantasy play. Okay, good. So, One thing. One thing is these researchers. 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 Provide evidence. Provide evidence. Okay. So look, every time you see ER at the end of a, of a word, it becomes a person. For okay. example, when when a verb ends in er it becomes a person like when the verb is drive and then you have driver it's the person who drives yes drink drinker research researcher okay 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 so continue uh, please okay coco a long land gorilla seems to have understood when writing about her. Tests of Coco's auditory comprehension showed that she was able to distinguish between words such as funny, money, and bunny. Similar claims have been made for Michael, a male companion of Coco's who also learn to discriminate between many sounds. Very good. So can you imagine that the the ape? Well, you understand you know what an ape is, right? It's, yeah, it's a it's a monkey. Imagine they can tell the difference between funny, money, and bunny. Hmm. Amazing. Okay, and Anna, can you finish, please? Okay. What show an adult chimpanzee race as if she were a deaf child was able to translate words she heard into American Sign Language. Another st study consisted of teaching a chimpanzee named Kansi how to communicate using a keyboard of symbols. This study compared a series of stages that the human child go through with those of Kenzie. Kenzie moved through these stages in much the same way as children, up to a particular stage of development, and in fact, did better than a young child on a test that made sure only the ability to comprehend given requests. <clears throat> really? Amazing. Made it, made it better than a child? <laughs> Yeah. You know, this, unfortunately, in El Salvador, we're very close minded. But this really, this really um, tells you about the theory of relativity or, you know, evolution or, or church or, or, or religion. Mm. You know. I really believe that we do come from monkeys. <laughs> it's or we we do come from, you know, evolution. Um, my wife, she's um, she's a dentist, and one time I asked her, "Why do we have muelas, the wisdom tooth, if we don't use them?" You know, so why? You know, and she the says, judgment ones. <laughs> I could start the name, right? No, actually, yeah, wisdom. Uh huh. Ah, wisdom. Yes. The last, the last four. The wisdom teeth. Uh huh. Ah, okay. And it's it's very interesting because that tells you a lot about evolution. Mm. Oh, why why are these teeth called canine? You know how you have the pointy, like the Dracula vampire teeth. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And she says that when she was studying, she says that according to the studies, many years ago, or like 
hundreds of years ago, we did use that, the mm -hmm. wisdom teeth. But the evolution later on, because they studied the, the skull. Mm -hmm. So eventually, yes, people did use the wisdom teeth before. Maybe to eat like meal? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, for it's example, the, the mm -hmm. teeth, the canine was to rip, mm -hmm. you know. So it's very, very interesting. But some people mm -hmm. get get offended immediately. Oh, we don't come from monkeys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a beautiful movie. I forgot the name, but it's with um Anthony Hopkins. Uh, I think he was a bad person in, in his life or he did something very bad. So he decided to go live in the wild and he decided to go live with monkeys. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when he came back, came back as Hannibal? <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal Lexter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, there was... um. There, there's this famous woman. She's a researcher. She works with monkeys. <laughs> Did you see that movie Eat, Pray, and No Se Que de Julia Roberts? No, I remember I saw one for the an uh, oldest lady that she was killed because she defended the gorillas. Oh, no. Right. You know, if I find that video, I will send it to you. This woman. She was, she's a scientist and, and she, she rescued a monkey, mm -hmm. a, a baby monkey. And she took him in captivity. Mm -hmm. And the, she built a bond with the, with the baby monkey for many, I don't know if a year, two years, but because the monkey was hurt. So I think it was in Africa. Oh, this woman, in her account, she says, you know, yes, today's my birthday. I don't want presents. If you want, please donate to my, to her, to her organization that she works on saving monkeys. Oh, no, she works in rescuing monkeys. So in the video, she rescued this monkey, a baby monkey. And when the monkey became an adult and was ready, it shows when she takes the monkey back to the jungle and she opens the cage and you see the monkey come out, you know, and the monkey, wow. Or, you know, maybe I remember this and, and the monkey just came out and started running and he, he left. He started jumping in all the trees. And you see the woman crying. Because, oh man, there goes my baby. And you know what the monkey did? Mm -hmm. Like five minutes later, the monkey returned. And he hugged her. Mm -hmm. So he said goodbye to her. Or maybe he said, thank you, goodbye. I understand that now I am going back home. Mm -hmm. So, oh, my God, when you see that, it's like, wow. Because <laughs> she never expected that. She just like, hey, se me fue. I, I didn't get to say bye to him. But she was happy and crying, you know, bye. And then suddenly the monkey, when he recognized the territory, he came back. And you just see him and he hugs her like a baby hugs the mother. Mm. And then when he hugs her, she breaks down crying. And then you start crying and then. <laughs> it's a it's a beautiful video. Oh really? I haven't okay. seen that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so listen to the instructions. Now here a related lecture. You may take notes. Try to write a 150 to 225 mm -hmm. word response to the question in 20 minutes. Now this is going to be very difficult because we don't have enough time. But let's listen to this and maybe let's talk about it.
Okay. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Being able to communicate using language is one of our human species' most important abilities. Some scientists claim that apes, like humans, also use languages. There are many studies into ape acquisition of language, some famous, such as the Coco studies. But are these animals really acquiring language? We really haven't done enough research to address the question of how and when humans started using language, but we can compare human and ape communicative abilities to determine whether the claims about ape language are valid. First, for behavior to be called language, it must be communicative. In other words, the signers must be able to use language creatively. They should be able to take turns in conversation must sign spontaneously rather than as a response to drilling or coercion, and must be able to comment on interesting phenomena. If you think about what the apes have accomplished in communicating, these criteria have not been met. However, according to the proponents of ape communication, the animals do meet these criteria. They maintain that those of us who question the validity of this research have never worked with apes. However, we wonder how much influence their probable emotional attachment to an animal has on the conclusions they reach. Is there a solution in sight that would put an end to this controversy? Yes, there might be. Studies are being undertaken at the neurophysiological level. Through the use of modern brain scanning techniques, such as MRI, we may be able to get a better picture of the brain activity of a healthy human during communication and an ape while supposedly communicating. A comparison of these scans should give us an insight into whether apes really do communicate. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Okay, I know it's kind of difficult for you to summarize this in writing because, of course, we all work and time is not our friend. But what we could do tomorrow is we'll, we'll do this listenings and instead of writing, we'll talk about them. Okay. Okay, so tell me what you would say in writing. But I would recommend you to, on the video, to use those words, you know. Okay, so um, oh yeah, tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> we'll do it on Monday then. It's on Monday. Yeah, this is almost the end anyway, so we'll finish everything by next week. Yeah, this is the last part. So on Monday we're we're going to finish this. We will do this reading again, and then we'll talk about it and put it in your words what you would write. Okay. Okay, that's right. Okay, then I wish you have a very good weekend. <laughs> All right. I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye, yeah. class. Thank you very All much. Right, good night. Good night, everybody.